don't do it guys don't place trades based on what you see here please consult your own financial advisors and do your own due diligence all right with that said let's go it's monday october 22nd and it's another down day down about 100 bucks here in the portfolio over this trading day probably the biggest uh, contributors are a little bit of exk um these are just uh, real estate royalties. Well, the market was down about half a percent, the Dow, so it dragged a lot of uh, my investments, I guess, with it. Um, some gas stuff. This is just American companies, 2% um, down. LEU is a uranium mining company that was down 10%, but I don't have that much in it. UUU was up. 3.5 almost, so that was good, but the rest of the uranium sector slacked just a little bit. Um, Spotify, uh, Apple was up a little over half a percent, JD up 2.3 percent. So it was kind of a mixed bag, and therefore the portfolio didn't move much. Um, some of the options moved, but most of them didn't. Um, SIG was about even, up almost three quarters of a percent. That's about even for SIG. <laughs> um, but as you can see, the call options got devalued a little bit that I've sold. So that's that's all good and gravy. Um, not a lot else moved in the markets here, in my portfolio anyway. Looking out to the future, or actually, I should probably take you through the, the moves that I made. So let's go over here on the history, and I will show you what I did today. Uh, I have some, these are all dividends that are pending that I'm going to be receiving, which is great. About $40, $50 worth of dividends. Um, so what I did was I sold uh, Western Precious, I'm sorry, Wheaton Precious Metals put a $70 put for 10 26. I'm kind of looking to accumulate this company and it's just trading just a little bit over 17 at the moment. So if it dips down, I will be purchasing 100 shares, which I don't mind doing at all. I'm looking to accumulate. Uh, a lot of uh, options expired over the weekend, including a four. I'm sorry. Um, I was assigned to buy 100 shares of Ford at $9 which sent me back $900, but I immediately sold a call for $9. Um, and you can see it over here for 10 bucks at $9, uh, expiring on November 16th. I also looked into selling a chemical put at $11, but that, it didn't work out. And I also sold a, that Wheaton Precious Metals put at $17. I got a lot of the money back from SXCP. That's oil and um, from Cameco. So I had some money to play with and I still have more. If I click on account, you can see I have $1,700 worth of cash ready to be employed. It's looking for work. And I will employ it. Now, I was kind of looking into um, China. I wanted to buy FXI. I want to buy this. It went up 2.7% today. And I want to accumulate it, but it's just still too expensive for me. Um, this would have been nice to pick it up at somewhere around here, but I want to start selling put against it, but it's still, the numbers is too high. I would have to commit $4,000 in order to sell a put against this. Um, it's been going down this year. Uh, you can see how it kind of peaked out on January 26th at 53.29. And then it's been going down ever since in a steady trend. And I've been talking on previous uh, vlogs. I'll call them vlogs for now. Previous episodes, maybe. I don't know. What sounds better? Um, that... I'm expecting kind of like this final flush out, but it just, we seem not to be getting it, you know, yet. So I don't know when it's going to come out. And when it does come, I'm thinking of uh, buying it. But for right, maybe, for right now, maybe I should just ignore 
ignore China. JD.com is a Chinese company, the retail. They are competitors with Alibaba. They're just an online store. Sells everything. So I've sold the call against them. I'm sorry, I sold the put against them. Against my cash, anyways. Um, and it's valued at $29 right now. I'm up 35% on this trade. Up $16. I'm sorry, 11. That was just today's return. 11 doors overall, 27.5%. Still got another $29 worth of liability. Uh, and, and I have my collateral locked. So of $2,200. That's going to expire on November 2nd. So I'm kind of, you know, crossing my fingers until November 2nd. Um, that is 10, 11 days from now. And hoping that at uh, trading days, that is, hoping that JD stays above twenty-two dollars so I can collect that money. So I uh, and, and I'm not that down about owning JD though at twenty-two dollars because that's very near the bottoms here, as you can see. I'm not a big technician at all, but you can see how it opened up and the low was twenty dollars here and there's another twenty dollar low here and there, obviously there's a, a with you know, people call it support. So there's support there at the $20 level. So I'm not afraid of owning the company down at those levels. Um, if it does go down to that level, I'm fairly certain it's going to stay at that range for either. It's either going to rebound up or it's going to stay at that range for a while before it drops down further, which is going to give me opportunity to collect some premium during that time. So I'm really not afraid of owning it here um, from a technical perspective. And again, I'm not a technician, but you know, um, I have trust. It's a large company, so I have trust is gonna do all right in the long run. Um, so it does. It's it's a different company though than everyone else because it's very one man dependent. But if you look at some other companies, they can still be successful when they're one man dependent. Okay, like. Tesla is one man dependent, more or less, you know, for example, you have those big names that are just basically responsible for the company and they can still take it high. They can still do well. And JD is one of those companies. Now, even though we had a bad day today by a little bit, I'm still confident in the trades that we've set up. I'm confident in all these options that I've sold. Look at this. A lot of the older sells. I don't have any buys at the moment. I did buy a short Dow last week, but that expired worthless. I lost $20 on it, even though I guessed one of the days correct. Probably should have cashed out on Thursday, but I didn't. I would have had a $15 gain. It was worth uh, $35 on Thursday when the market dropped a couple percent. But that's all right. It's just small gain, small loss. Um, all these accumulated will be worth a lot more than that. Um, so anyway, without any new trade ideas, um, well, actually, with this $1,700, I'm, I might just re-roll chemical or URA. URA is the Uranium Mining ETF. Probably re-roll in one of those. Or if Apple drops substantially, I may look into acquiring some of that because uh, I like Apple. As a company, their growth, they're really stable. And they're kind of carrying this, this, the American stock market a little bit. So um, they're what's called the alpha. And it's their performance is really strong. Even in the face of crashes, they're still doing really well. I mean, I don't. this actually looks like it could continue climbing. But again, I'm not a technician, so I'm just getting hunches, hinges, hunches. All right. I think that's enough for now. Hopefully, um, I just might make some good decisions tomorrow, the next day, to what to do with that $1,700. And uh, you'll see what I do with the moves whenever it happens. All right. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. It's another trading day. Excited for it. Even though if I even if I don't sound like it, because I'm a bit tired, but I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out.